There is Liquitex's Payne's Gray. And when I was first learning this technique, because it's so thin, I had a heck of a time figuring out the best way to pour it and get it off onto the canvas. And I ended up just finally giving up and just pouring it straight out of the cup. I always feel like I have more control with it coming off the stick, but it just doesn't work that way with this technique for me, typically. So that second color I've got there is Modern Masters Copper with a little Amsterdam yellow ochre mixed in. And in between colors, I'm wiping my hands off, off to your left. This next color going down is a combination of Arteza's Bordeaux and Liquitex's Alzerian Crimson. And by the way, I love that Arteza's Bordeaux. It's just a beautiful red. And then next on the hit list is a homemade blue. Which even back then, I was playing around with colors. I love playing with paints. I like to mix up colors. I ought to just get the basic colors. And just start combining colors together. <laughs> oh, well, I have fun playing with it. And then after that, what do I have? Oh, I have Arteza's Pearl Yellow and Golden's Nickel Azo Gold. And I think this is the first time I ever used Golden's Nickel Azo Gold. QNAG, as I like to call it now. I think I had a coupon at Michael's for 40% off at the time. I bought a one-ounce container and probably had a gift certificate or a credit voucher and probably got it for free, but I'll tell you what, nothing's for free because I had to spend money to get those free vouchers. <laughs> and I think that was it for the paints. Now, <clears throat> with the paints, I went basically with about 60% of paint, so whatever color I was using, and 35% Floetrol with a squirt of Liquitex PM in water to thin it down. And my paints are about the same consistency as my base. And what I would do, and I don't do it so much anymore, but what I would do then is put the different colors on a, like a cardstock piece of paper and run them together and see how they run. So in other words, I'd put dots down of each color, including the base, tilt the paper, and see how well they run together in terms of how quickly or how slowly, making sure that they run at the same pace. And it's really important to have your colors and everything the same consistency, because if you don't, what's going to happen when you start tilting is that one color is going to run over the other colors and it's just going to make a mess. So consistency, like every other artist has said, and in my experience as well, is absolute key. So I think with that, I'm going to stop talking and let you just watch the video and let it play out. I'll chime in when I need to.
So here I'm almost done tilting everything off and I'm just looking over what I've got. And what I start to realize is that one side of the canvas, the one now that's closest to me, is just missing something. I've got so much color on the other two thirds of the canvas that the bottom is just kind of bare. It just doesn't go together for me. And this is when I start to play around with the paint. And I do a lot of fiddling in this time period. And what you'll see over time is the other colors will start to get pearls in them. And that is a reaction from the satin enamels taking hold. So anyway, I do a lot of fiddling here and I try to speed it up so that you don't have to watch everything. But you get the gist. So I take a look at that little bottom strip there of gray, try to figure out what I want to do there. Now mind you, this is a few months ago when I was really, really new to this and still a little intimidated about putting any palette knife down or adding any paint or swiping anything in or playing around. So I had to really get my gumption up to do this. And like I said, it, I take a lot of time playing with this section. And what I was finding is that as I would lay paint down, I would find it disappearing because the cloud recipe would start to eat it up. And then I would have to lay down more and it would be eaten up. And then I would start to blow to spread it out and that would help. But it's very hard to lay down a little tiny strip of paint from my palette knife like that and have it actually show. Now there was a little bit more there, but you got to lay down some paint. And at this point in my journey, I was still a little bit afraid. So I guess the message here is don't be afraid. Just go for it. What's the worst that's going to happen? So I will pipe down again and let you just watch. And I might speed it up. It was actually here that I discovered the power of using that straw and blowing and spreading out the paint to help it come up and stay on top of that cloud pour. Because honestly, my paints were just getting gobbled up left and right, and I had to find a way to make them stick. It looks like I'm almost blowing paint out from the straw, but I'm not. I'm just uncovering the paint that was actually laid down already that's gotten consumed. It's kind of a fine dance working with the satin enamels of allowing it to do what it's going to do and the pearl creation and then also trying to recapture your color from beneath it.
is that while I'm trying to work on this bottom section here, I'm trying to make it look as organic as possible. In other words, I don't want it to look like I added anything to it or that I tortured it as much as I've tortured it. I want it to look as though it, the paints and the color and how they come together actually formed out from the process instead of me in my fiddling process. <laughs> so I keep torturing this section. It's kind of silly to watch it back, but you know, it takes a little while to get it to look as natural as possible and have the color stick. So it's right about here I decide I, I'm done with the painting, or maybe in fact the painting is done with me, I don't know which, but we're done with each other. So uh, I just want to thank everybody for stopping by. I'm glad I took the time to take this old video and try to make something of it so you can watch and hopefully learn. I know I did just watching it back this time. All right, take care and we'll talk later.